everybody, this is Lollipop81 MLE here today, and welcome to another episode of Lollipop Speed Art. Now, it's been a while because, well, uh, I've kind of been lazy and I've kind of been procrastinating. With that being said, this is Isabeau of Bavaria. She was the Queen Consort of France to Charles VI, with them being married three days after meeting. Well, yeah, it, it, that is... Well, back in the medieval period, a lot of marriages were arranged for political reasons and whatnot. So anyways, before I continue with this, um, I based my... I had trouble doing the hands here. Like, I'm usually good with hands sometimes, but that's sometimes, but not all the time here. But sometimes, like, doing hands is, like, the most difficult. Even though I did really good in figure drawing with the hand portions. But I based my uh, drawing and uh, digital painting on Mara Soap's uh, take of Isabeau of Bavaria. So anyways, there are some short facts and whatnot. So anyways, um, hold up. Here we go. Here it comes right now. So here is the... Um, the she also put out a reference that she used for her um, take of is abuse. So here it is right here. It's this classic illustration of her and her ladies right there. So that's Mara Soap's take. So anyways, is abuse is also known as Isabel or even Elizabeth. <laughs> yeah, ironically, is abuse, Isabel. Elizabeth, you pick your choice, but I'm doing Isabeau because that's basically what she is known. So Isabeau was born around 1370 and passed away in 1435, though the date is unclear. She was born into the house of Wittelsbach to Duke Stephen III or of Bavaria Ingolstadt and Tadia Vasconte of Milan. As queen, Isabeau acted as regent while Charles suffered that mental illness that affected Henry VI. The madness that caused him to like lose control of his body, lost power of speech, you, you name it. She intended the signing, so, the, the, the signing of the Treaty of Troyes in 1420, which handed the French, the French throne to the English. And that's how the English got into... French territory, by the way. She lived the rest of her life in English-occupied Paris until her death. Of her descendants, two married two English kings. One there was Isabella would marry the disgraced Richard II, and yeah, that was a child marriage. <laughs> and Catherine of Valois married warrior King Henry V. She would also be the founder of the Tudor dynasty after her secret marriage to Owen Tudor. She's also the mar mother of Henry VI. Now, yeah, so basically, it's a view, if you think about it this way, she is basically, she basically is an ancestor to Queen Elizabeth II. Let's get that straight here. Even though this is a... Yeah, it's interesting to note here, believe it or not. And, of course, I'm doing the jewels, the bejewels of her gown, which looks like a Burgundian gown, and what you saw was me doing her earlier was the headdress, which had the cool veils and whatnot. I love the, those dress, those he hats, those, like, um, headdresses that had the veils. They were classic. But anyways... So I would have to say, yes, Isabeau had a part in the founding of the Tudor in, uh, dynasty and also the Stuarts, the Hanoverians, also the, uh, and the Windsors, formerly known as the Saxe, Coburg, and Gothas. Uh, Saxe, Coburg, and Gotha, now known as Windsor. She probably also had a part in uh, the Greek royal family through Queen Victoria, it, yeah, I'm floating about the modernness of all that. And this is all because 
she was the mother of Catherine of Valois, as we all know from history. Now, I would like to conclude this. The final piece is up on my Deviant Art page at lollipop one mle And don't forget to subscribe to my channel at lollipop one mle And that's link right there. Click that red button button and also the bell for notifications. I post videos like this and Lollipop Sings and Lollipop Discusses every Fridays and Saturdays usually. And don't forget the social medias I have, Twitter, Instagram, and Reddit, as well as DeviantArt. Make sure to follow me there as sometimes I will post updates and retweet a bunch of random stuff. And if you enjoy history, like I recommend checking out Lindsay Holiday and uh, Prior Tire. Um, one for history and one for uh, fashion history. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you next time. Peace, y'all.